One of my favorite laws in our Aegis system is the law of study. And the definition of that uh, study is that uh, the more you know, the easier it is to know more. And study is about education. Study is about thinking. It's about knowledge. And I think uh, I come across people from time to time who say, oh, I, I, I don't read. Uh, and then I think, OK, well, if you don't read, how do you get your information? You might get your information from discussing with uh, uh, your peers or uh, other people, family and friends. But if you're going to educate yourself, you need to make sure that you educate yourself with and alongside people who are qualified uh, to tell you about what, they, what their exp uh, expertise is. Um, to a degree, I avoid networking with other instructors except for a, a small group because I find that networking is not necessarily a, a way to learn. Very often it becomes a way to complain, uh, to blame and to look for people who are failing like you are. And uh, I think what you have to do is you have to educate yourself. I mean, if you think about if you're in business at the moment, how many books have you read about business? How many courses have you uh, taken on business? How many people who are successful in business do you connect with and seek as a, a mentor or mentors? Whereas how often do you just ring someone up, a friend up, and just complain about how badly things are going? You see, ed education is so important because as it says in the, the law of study, the more you know, the easier it is to know more. And what that means is that you are able to make connections. So if you study, and I, I become obsessive on uh, study, I usually, if I find a subject that I'm interested in, I'll usually read sort of seven or eight books around that study until I feel that I have enough information to answer the questions that are on my mind. But in terms of your business or your life, how, how much are you actually studying? If you don't like to read, well, you can look, you can listen to audio, you can watch video. Uh, I mean, even on, if you're uh, on Amazon, you can get Kindle and you can get iBooks and this kind of thing. But you have to take control of your education because think of it this way. If you were worth the success that you want, you would have that success right now because you'd be doing the things that would create that success. Does that make sense? So let me cover that again, because it can get a bit com confusing. If you think you are worthy of a higher level of success right now, then you should have that success because you would be doing the things that bring that success. success. If you're not getting the success, then there is something that you don't know. What is that something? Well, that's the X factor. You don't know what you don't know. So think about it. Educate yourself. Find people who are experts in what you want to know and listen to them, read their books and contact them, take their courses or programs. Invest a little bit because your education is what's going to drive you forward. If you've got the motivation, you then need the education to move yourself forward and make a, a real success of your life, your business, or whatever it is that you want to be successful in.